Welcome to another episode of The Ideal Business. I am grateful to have with me Rebecca Sherrick, a former nursing student uh, who is crushing it in the business. And so, uh, Rebecca, thank you for joining me today to share with everyone why this is the, has turned out to be the ideal business for you and your family. Will you share that with us? Yes. Thank you for having me, Josh. Um, hi, everyone. My name is Rebecca Williams. I am 20 years old, or I'm 26 years old. I'm sorry. I've been sharing a lot today. Um, and I, um, my story goes back to when I was 20 years old, actually. So I, you know, tragically lost my right ovary from an ovarian cyst, experienced some extreme health changes. Um, my hormones went wacky, um, gained weight, uh, had hormonal swings. I felt like I was basically in menopause at 20 years old. Um, and I'm really thankful because after two years of struggling with that, um, and just having no solution. I met my boyfriend at the time, who's now my husband. And, um, he introduced me to Neolife and the products and his mom sat me down and she explained everything to me, um, about cellular health and the importance of that. Um, not only that, but after three months of taking the products, I, um, had great results. So I, um, didn't, I had a normal cycle and then, um, all of the health um, challenges that I was going through slowly started going away because I started filling those gaps in my diet. And, um, after mooching off of my mother-in-law for, um, three months with the products and her buying them, I finally said enough is enough. I need to sign up and buy them myself. And, um, she said, okay, well sign up as a promoter because you'll thank me one day for it. Trust me. And I thought, okay, sure. Um, but sure enough, uh, three years later, this business has blessed me in many ways than just, um, financially and just my health. I mean, it's been so amazing. Um, my personal growth, the relationships I've made and everything more, but, um, specifically with the business, you know, I was in nursing school when I first started taking the products and, um, I was really dedicated to wanting to serve people to take care of them. Um, but as I started seeing, more and more people that I shared the products with, it kind of just occurred to me that I wanted to be with people, you know, um, before they were in the hospital, I wanted to walk with them alongside them before that. And, um, I was also, also a full-time waitress. So I was working, um, odd hours, um, trying to study in between commuting two hours, both ways from school to home. It was just exhausting. I, you know, had outstanding debt. I had outstanding credit cards, I have student loans. Um, and I knew that I was going to owe a lot of money one day. And so, um, Casey, he was my boyfriend at the time. He's my husband now, but he encouraged me. He said, Hey, you know, this business, you're a promoter, like you have your three for free. That's awesome. And it really hadn't, um, you know, amounted to anything more than that, but you have so much potential to, um, touch so many lives and actually create financial, um, you know, residual income financially. I thought, okay. So, um, we went to the retreat, we got business training. Um, I started following all the simple steps and started building my business. And I was, um, I came to the decision to quit working as a waitress. I put myself in a corner, um, because I knew that if I didn't do that, I wouldn't have the push to keep building my business to the goal that I wanted uh, financially. And so, uh, I had a lot of doubts. My parents told me that I was making a mistake they said that I wouldn't be able to make the same amount of money I was making as a waitress. And little did they know that in just two months, I would double that income. Um, and I would be able to help people too, alongside that, you know, that's always been my main mission. And that's why I hesitated with the business for so long. I love helping people. I didn't want it to come off too salesy or the wrong way, but man, it has blessed me so much financially. Um, and so that's where I'm at with the business right now. And, um, it's just the ideal business for moms. That's awesome. And share with us how it also led to you deciding to drop out of nursing school. Not only did it uh, make more than your waitressing job, but it continued to grow. Yeah. So, you know, after building that and quitting my waitress job, I was still in school, still pursuing my business. And in January of 2020, I realized that it was no longer my passion. I wanted to have my own schedule, help people on my own time. And um, as a nurse, your salary, there's a cap you can only make so much as a nurse. I want to exceed that. I want to have an unlimited amount of um, income that at, the, at my fingertips. And so I quit nursing school. I started pursuing my business um, full-time and I've been doing that for a year now, a year and a few months full-time. 
That's awesome. And how has your business evolved? And uh, I should say your why, your business around your why and your beautiful I, growing family. Yeah. So my why has definitely evolved um, in the last year. I have a two month old son um, and he has given me the motivation to continue sharing to, um, you know, other moms who have kids and um, he's given me an outlet to just want to show him that anything's possible. And it gives me the time freedom to be with my children. Um, I don't have to get a babysitter. I can bring him everywhere with me to my health talks, to all my events. And going off of that, you know, I have a new promoter. Her name's Brittany. There she is right there. She has helped me so much in my business. She is also a mom. She has three kids and, you know, she understands what it's like to be a mom. And so that's another amazing thing about this business is the grace that you receive from your, um, your partners and, um, just being able to grow together and to understand each other. And you can bring your kids everywhere with you. It's amazing. You can't bring your kids to work with you when you're a nurse. (laughs) So it's amazing. (laughs) Yes. Yes. Well, Rebecca, you, um, you are crushing it. So grateful for your incredible contribution to so many people's lives through the success in your business and the success of your the, the uh, business, your teammates, your team that you're developing and serving and their success. Um, finally, how do you and Casey, your husband is a firefighter and paramedic, you both are serving in, uh, in big ways. How do you all see the future with, with this growing business and the success that you're having? We see our future very flexible because of our business. So um, the ultimate goal is to make the same amount that he makes as a firefighter for his base salary. And once we do that, he will quit his job and he will help me with the business full time. And um, hopefully then our business will grow even more because I'll have double the help. So we see our future very bright and very flexible, Um, just continues to grow and grow every day. And we're blessed for that. So that's awesome. Rebecca, thank you so much for joining me and uh, sharing your story with us. Thank you for having me, Josh. I really appreciate it. My privilege. Well, folks, for those of you who are watching, I want to encourage you that uh, if this is even sparking even a bit of interest, if you're saying, perhaps I can do this as well, then I want to encourage you to get back with the person who invited you to learn about Neolife and ask them um, to help you get started. Remember, for less than $100, you can start what we all believe is the ideal business where you can not only grow income, but also, as Rebecca talked about, impact while enjoying freedom to enjoy a lifestyle that you design. And so uh, if you decide to get started, I want to be the first to say welcome. Welcome to the Neoli family and welcome to our mission to make this world a healthier and a happier place. And I look forward to celebrating your success. And I look forward to seeing you on a future Getting Started training. Take care. God bless.